and I cannot stop thinking about the ending of the inheritance game so I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble right now and buy the second book I'm hoping they have it in stock there's my brother he's seeing me vlog bye but my little brothers are going with me. There's Ooh. dummy number one, and then there's dummy number two. So we're gonna go to Barnes & Noble right now. Who's excited? Yeah, let's yeah. go. I'm forced to get my oil. <laughs> we made it to Barnes & Noble. Yeah. I just posted my reading vlog for the inheritance games and a few of you guys said you wanted a reading vlog for the second book So ask and you shall receive. I'm gonna start reading the Hawthorne legacy right now I'm super excited just because the way that the first book ended I need to know what's gonna happen in this. Let's do a first impressions again I'm wondering if we are going to use any of these things that are in the cover I just see like a dagger or a sword whatever that is a gold coin a ring another candle a crown I don't know what this is is. kind of looks like a message in a bottle a deadly game a puzzle to solve a fortune at stake let's see if we get short chapters again we do love that every one of the hawthorne boys was magnetic larger than life they had an effect on people and Jameson was very good at using that to get what he wanted. He wants something from me now. I love Jameson. I love how he gets so worked up about things and so intrigued and just likes trying to solve a mystery. I love that about him. Oh my gosh, I'm blushing. He reached to brush a strand of hair out of my face and every nerve in my body went on high alert. Stop looking at me like that. Like what? He countered. <laughs> Had to show you guys my annotation. Love that he still calls her heiress. We love to see it. Just finished chapter one and I have to give Avery props. I don't know how she's doing it. She has a lot of self-control. I would give in to Jameson like that. Grayson just made an appearance. He is super protective of Avery, which I really like, but I'm still team Jameson. Mm, I think Grayson is jealous of Avery and Jameson. <laughs> I just bit my pinky. First of all, this is giving me major Damon and Stefan vibe. What's life without a little risk, brother? Damon and Stefan Salvatore, who? Second of all, the way that they just protect Avery and really care about her well-being. Jameson in this scene has me, yes, 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 yes. This scene had major vampire diary vibes where it was like the two brothers just will do anything to protect the girl i just immediately think of the quote where it's like i will do anything to protect elena or something it was something like that trios where there's two guys and one girl i just think those trios superior like amazing wow you're thinking i'm always thinking you replied that's what i love about you Eris. jameson had a habit of tossing out words that should matter like they didn't at all i would be blushing if i were her just found out some interesting information. I have a theory, but I don't know if I'm on the right track, but this is just getting so interesting. Like the more I read, the more you see their thought process and see them trying to solve certain things. Just the way things are solved and what they find out. It's just like, how does someone even come up with that? I've had a hunch on kind of what they're implying since book one, but I don't want to be right because, okay, let me explain. I feel like it's too easy. I don't want to let myself think that I'm right. I don't know what the heck is going on. I, I just need to find out what happens. Okay, maybe my assumption is right because everyone keeps saying the words, but I feel like there's more. Like, I just feel like there's some catch. <laughs> you know the moment where a guy is helping a girl and she's trying to golf and so he gets up so he can show her how. He gets behind her and they golf together so he can show her. That's what's happening right now and I'm living for this. Please take a moment to read this. Do you trust me, Eris? Jameson had donned a leather jacket. He looked like trouble, the good kind. I'm literally in love with him. Mm. Something cute happened with Jameson and Avery and Skye, who's the Hawthorne brother's mom, ruins it. I literally hate her. That moment when you've been reading in bed all day and it just gets darker and darker until the sun is pretty much gone. A lot lighter in my room on camera but it's kind of dark now i'm like 25 percent in the book now i have an update number one i love max she is my spirit animal i love her number two i just keep falling more and more in love with jameson number three i still hate their mom i think that's it for now xander is so funny i love him <laughs> i love jameson so much oh my gosh i switched to read on my kindle and i have or in high school host club playing in the background. I just got off work and I got some packages in the mail. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing right now. Okay, so I got Kimini Sudoke volume three. And then this is, I got from Thrift Books. 
I believe this is volume 13 of Kimi Tadoke. It said it was in like, oh, oh, no it's not. This is volume 17 of Kimi Tadoke. They said it was in very good condition, but this is an ex-library copy. The cover's okay, I have to take out these stickers. Then next, I got some stuff from Right Stuff. So I got Lovecom volume 9. It's 9, 10 p.m. I feel good. I'm ready for bed. I am ready to read this thing. I'm on chapter 43, so I'm like about halfway into the book and I'm loving it. I'm so excited to find out what happens. I just need more Avery and Jameson scenes. I'm liking the Grayson and Avery scenes, but Jameson is my guy. Stop. I love Nash and Libby so much. Jameson is in the hot tub and I am manifesting a all the boys I've loved before type of hot tub scene moment. <laughs> I'm screaming! Oh my gosh! I'm hyperventilating. Jameson goes, I'm always thinking Eris. That's what you love about me. I do love that about you, Jameson. I love you. Oh my god. <laughs> Jameson gets his own special colored tab. I usually never do like multiple colored tabs, but I made an exception for him. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm literally freaking out. <laughs> literally? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, because I'm literally. <laughs> Jameson is making me scream. <laughs> Dang it, they really had to ruin it. This was a great moment and they ruined it. I'm mad. He shot me a wicked little smile that made me feel like I was right back in the hot tub. You're joking me. Page 239. No, 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 no. Literally, what the heck? What? Okay, I have to read this. There were probably a thousand adjectives to describe Jameson Hawthorne's smile, but the one that felt truest to me was devastating. Jameson Winchester Hawthorne had a devastating smile. Heck yeah, he does. I'm in love with him. I literally love Jameson so much. Stop. Oh my gosh. I feel like this book is just surprising me because I thought I knew what the big, I thought I knew what the big secret was Um, because I guessed it in book one and I was right, it happened. But then we're just getting new and new things that like I wouldn't even have thought and I'm just like, like what the heck else is going to happen? What other information are we going to find out? I'm, whoa. Guys, I literally love Jameson. Him and Avery, they're soulmates. I don't care. I only have 50 pages left. What the heck is happening? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Stop. Um, there's too many things going on. This is giving me whiplash. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? You see, this book made me think that I was right, and then it straight up tells me that I'm wrong. What? <laughs> I'm literally in love with Jameson. Oh my gosh, I literally love him. I literally just annotated this entire page. If Avery and Jameson are not endgame, I'm going to riot. I literally got out of bed to go highlight this. Like, I was like laying in bed, all comfortable. I had to get up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love Jameson so much. What the heck? Okay, no spoilers. Like, don't read this because spoilers. But, like, look how much I annotated on this page. What the heck? Jameson is in, like, my top three book boyfriends of all time now. I, I love him. Oh, my gosh. Just when I thought things could not get any worse. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm literally so confused. What is going on? No. What the heck? I'm gonna start the third one tomorrow. What the heck? I'm literally so happy. Hello. I just started the final gambit. I'm on chapter three. Jameson is literally the best ever. I'm seriously in love with him. I love Nash and Luffy so much. Stop. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna like this book as much as I like the second book, mainly because I just feel like they threw in this character for no reason. Like I don't see the point in having this character in here. And it just seems like it kind of messed up like the entire dynamic and it's just really weird to me. Oh my gosh. If Avery and Jameson are not endgame, I'm done. This is it. They are literally so, so cute. And like Jameson really cares for her. I just hope she's not stringing him along just to choose Grayson in the end. I'm now on chapter 24 and I just want her and Jameson to be end game. That's it. That's it. This clue that they just solved, I'm shook. Like the amount of 
thinking that it took to solve this and like the way everything just pieced together like it made sense but like i would have never thought of that that's crazy grayson is literally pissing me off i'm so annoyed with him you know jameson always supportive always there for avery jameson forever but grayson is pissing me off for real so i'm editing the video right now and i didn't film my reaction to the end of the third book overall i thought it was okay it was my least favorite out of the three i'm super excited for the fourth book to come out i can't believe there's gonna be a fourth book so i'm definitely gonna read that when that comes out but overall i did enjoy the trilogy i really really liked it, it became an all-time favorite i wish that ending would have been a little bit different because i have mixed emotions on what actually happened but I am happy overall with how a lot of the characters ended up and just like all like the plot lines tying together in general I know this video is super super late I think I read these books back in like November and I'm barely posting this in February I'm always late anyways thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for any more bookish content and I will see you guys in my next video Bye.